Not all you see and read on the internet is true and correct. I do my best to verify that what I'm sharing here on my channel is backed by science. I encourage you to check out my sources posted on the description box below. I also specify if particular information is not supported by any scientific study. Although having dark underarms will not affect your health, it can take its toll on your self-confidence. Some people may be embarrassed about having dark underarms, especially during the summer when swimsuits and tank tops are often worn. Acanthosis nigricans is a skin condition that causes this darkening. Specifically, it causes skin thickening and darkening increases and folds in the body. According to a review of the skin condition done in 2014, anywhere between 7 to 74 percent of the population experience acanthosis nigricans in some form. Race, family history, and health are factors in developing dark underarms. Essentially, anyone can develop the skin condition. However, some people are more prone to it. In particular, individuals with darker skin have an increased chance of developing dark underarms than individuals with light skin. Acanthosis nigricans is generally genetic or caused by an underlying condition, but there is data to suggest that various hair removal methods such as blocking or shaving may be a cause. These methods may cause irritation that could stimulate too much production of melanocytes. Melanocytes are cells that are responsible for your skin color, and when there is a lot of it, the skin can turn darker. Aloe vera gel is widely used to heal wounds and provide relief for sunburn. Unfortunately, there is not any conducted double-blind placebo-controlled study to prove its effectiveness in lightening underarms as to date. There are, however, a limited number of studies showing that two chemicals in aloe vera called allicin and alloy may have skin lightening attributes. They are likely to reduce hyperpigmentation by eliminating melanin and preventing the formation in the skin. In an animal study, researchers found that alloy eliminated melanin in pigmented cells extracted from the tails of tadpoles. In another study, researchers found that allicin was successful in preventing melanin formation in hyperpigmented human skin produced in a lab. Researchers have also looked into allicin's effects on hyperpigmentation prevention in humans. UV radiation from the sun is a major factor in hyperpigmentation. So in the study, a group of individuals with hyperpigmentation was exposed to UV radiation on their inner forearm. The results show that individuals who received allicin skin treatments had lesser pigmentation than those who did not receive allicin skin treatments. Aloe vera is generally considered safe for topical application whether it's directly from a plant or store-bought. Very few people experience side effects when using it. However, like anything else before applying aloe vera to the skin, always do a patch test beforehand. If rashes or irritation develops, discontinue use. If you find this video informative or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you love science-based content on beauty and health, consider subscribing to my channel. And you may also want to hit the notification bell so that you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.